finally done. This will be the last one, number six, New York and, uh, and New England. So we're going to be covering New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and a couple extra ones here. I hope, I hope Joe is on the call tonight because I got a special for him. <clears throat> so this is New York, starting with New York, uh, Allegheny Highlands. They put out a lot of uh, CSPs and uh, they have a couple of camps. Uh, Elk, Elk Lick Scout Reservation or Elk Lick Scout Reserve. Uh, and they put out, uh, like I say, quite a few. Here's a, a sprinkling. And if I go too fast for anybody, you know, just holler out and I'll slow down. Uh, these are all the buildings at uh, Elk Click series. They, uh, I think they're done with it finally. And this is uh, Camp Merz, their other camp. Uh, by the way, this lower one on the right, there was another one uh, back here for Elkwick. That's not a bad scan. They, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. That's not a very, uh, very appealing patch. But and then this is uh, both of them, Elkwick and uh, and Mers. So uh, these are some of my favorite ones. Uh, you know, I guess you can, I don't know what you do, popcorn or whatever to earn your way to camp, but they put out a couple of these every year. And um, uh, a lot of these things, like the the, the dinosaur one, there's another one, and, and the, the pirate one where they have one that uh, has got a little device in the back that lights up. Um, those are kind of pricey, so I haven't got uh, any of those yet, but uh, at some point I'll probably get some. But but anyway, mm -hmm. I got uh, I actually picked up a bunch of these at the, uh, the pre-NOAC tradery. Here's some more. So this is an interesting one. You know, it's funny. I wouldn't even really call this a CSP, but it is. It's in the CSP book. So uh, there it is. It's in the it's in the collection. Okay, Five Rivers, uh, Camp Brule and Camp Gorton. These are all the same, obviously. It's funny, one of the things I've noticed as I collect these things that you have the same camp with all the mergers and stuff we've had over the last 20 years. Uh, camp Russell is going to be a recurring theme down as we go through this. Uh, this is General Herkimer. Um, so Greater New York, they have a lot of camps. Uh, Ten Mile River uh, Scout Camps. Uh, these are all part of it. And I'll uh, give you a minute to kind of take that in, and then, uh, and then so are these. I'm not sure if all of these are still open. Some of these might be historical. So I'll start with the ones that are just for Ten Mile River in general. Uh, these are the anniversary issues mostly. And this Indian here is the uh, TMR kind of logo guy. He shows up in uh, in a lot of them. These are pretty cool. Um, wood badge held at uh, TMR. So on these, there's a there's a redness and a gold for each of the burrows. I don't have them all yet, but I'm working on it. And uh, this one doesn't have any burrow at all. I assume there's a gold one on that one as well. This is interesting. I I went to the uh, to the museum website and I, I found this, and uh, so I I called up the, the place and I talked to somebody about this camper ship, you know, to get some of these patches, and I ended up making a donation to the the camper ship to for sending uh, kids to camp uh, in Queens. Not that I'm from Queens, but uh, I, I I believe that every kid should go to camp, so I sent them a donation. And when I got this. He sent me a couple of these too. These white ones are for Eagle Scouts only. So I'm not an Eagle Scout. My son is. But uh, they appreciated the donation. I appreciated the extra patch. All right. So there's a whole series that they did for the 75th anniversary of TMR 2002. You can see that uh, 
each one of them has a different camp logo and the name is on there as well. There's the uh, uh, ubiquitous Indian. And here's some more, same series. And then they put out this series and there's a, uh, I don't know if all of them, but I think most of them, if not all of them, have a, a numbered version and an unnumbered version. And uh, I don't know if you can see it here in the bottom right, there's a number on this one. Some of these other ones are probably numbered too. I didn't show you both. If I, I have both on a lot of them, but uh, anyway. So this was uh, something they put out for the uh, 2015 100th anniversary of, of the OA. And there's, uh, this isn't all of them. I know there's at least one more. There's a green border. There might be more. All right. This is all for Alpine Scout Reservation, or Scout Camp, rather. And uh, if you live in the Northeast you, and you've been to any NLS or NLATS or DYLC, you probably went to Alpine. I did. I've been down there many times. They also, I don't know if they still do, but they used to have a pretty good tradery there. And uh, we'll just go through a few of their other camps here. So the reason there's two of the same here, there's a white border series and a silver mylar series. <clears throat> That's why I mentioned some of these things might be uh, historical because uh, some of these definitely have that look. Plus the dates uh, indicate probably years of service. And like the totem pole on this one. All right, so uh, the mu museum puts out their own CSPs, but it says 10 Mile River Scout Camps on it. So uh, I'm in. And these are uh, the TMR 80th, the Scout Museum 80th, 10th, and then the uh, Civilian Conservation Corps. So this is an interesting series they put out. They put out the, the birds of TMR. And these are a beautiful set. They made a, a white bordered version and a gold mylar border. And um, so I show you both of them on the eagle. There's ten of them all together. Some of these are just gorgeous. Like I say some of these pictures just don't even don't do them justice. They really do look nice. I don't know who came up with this idea, but it's it's a good one. And then the red-tailed hawk. Just to give you both of those, just to fill out this, the page. And then they made this one, the Trails of TMR, which was uh, also from uh, available from the museum. All right, Greater Niagara Frontier, uh, Skullkopf, I think. Some of the uh, the names on these things are. Uh, Easier to read than say, I think. So at Hiawatha Seaway Council, um, these two are pretty similar. This one's actually a back patch, but it's shaped like a CSB. And, uh, and I acquired it somewhere along the line, actually before I even started collecting these. So I thought it fit in pretty nicely. And then they make, uh, I don't have a lot of them for this camp, but they make Scoutmaster, probably a staff. And they made a whole series of these uh, Rocky Raccoon things here. All right, Camp Excelsior. I got lucky to trade for this staff one. It's the only one I've ever seen. Not on eBay or anywhere else. Somebody had one and they... I was happy to get it. All right, Camp uh, Sabatis, uh, Scout Reservation. There's uh, a lot of these. And again, with the... Uh, with the mergers, this isn't the only council we're going to see Sabatis on. And they make a scoutmaster, they make a unit leader, staff, and a camper. I always like this design here where they just 
they reversed the, uh, the design for the staff. Okay, so here's Longhouse Council and still on Sabatis. Um, Longhouse puts out a lot of CSPs as well. Here's one for the unit leader. And there's a lot of different varieties of, of some of these that I don't have all of. I think I have all of these though. Scoutmaster unit leader staff. And I guess I don't have the unit leader on this one. Nice design though. So the, the camp uh, named Sabatis uh, apparently was named after Mitchell Sabatis. So they uh, honored him with uh, with this CSP in 2017. And again, Scoutmaster Unit Leader and Staff. And Camp Woodland, which was uh, a couple slides ago, the Rocky Raccoon series there. Uh, again, same merger, so. All right, these are uh, Longhouse Council uh, camps that I believe are no longer uh, active. Um, so we'll salute to their camping heritage. Good green bar bill here. All right, Camp Pioneer. Not sure how to say that council name of Teddy Island. That was one of the first ones I got back in uh, when I first started collecting these. And also uh, Massawippi. These are all the same, by the way. All right, there's that Camp Runcel Russell I mentioned earlier, Revolutionary Trails. <laughs> You know, it seems like I have an awful lot of CSPs, but surprisingly fewer camps than it, it appears to be. Camp Russell again. This is one of my favorites, Camp Porta Ferry, Seaway Valley. Just a nice looking patch. Nice, I like the shape of it. It's the only one I have in that shape. Good colors. All right, Seneca Waterways, back to Massawippi, and also uh, Camp Babcock Covey. And then uh, Suffolk County, Baiting Hollow. These are some of my oldest ones going back into the 80s. All right, Theodore Roosevelt Council is upstate New York. And uh, I'm not sure all of these camps are still uh, going. Antiara is definitely still going. I have uh, a lot of stuff from there and uh, some really nice ones. So, you know, I, I showed you, I wanted to give you a good look at this one because these pictures do not do these, these patches justice. I remember when I first got these, uh, I was really pleased with them. There's a bunch of them. And uh, they really, the, the orange, and it really pops when you see them in your hand. And then uh, Camp Wallapax. This was uh, an event they had there, uh, a roast. And then this is uh, a couple other camps, Alder Lake, Wallapax, Ship, Scott Reservation. And then they made a series of uh, uh, featuring Antiara, but then uh, also, if you look at the small print there, they've got uh, all the other camps are here as well. These are where I got all those names on the first slide there. They're listed. And they're all pretty much the same, except for the little logo. And one of the nine here, I'm not sure what that is, but. Um, it's got the Explorer base on one of them. 
these are really cool. I like the uh, the Camp Boyhaven ones. It's a Cub Camp, and uh, at least I think it's a Cub Camp. Sure, it looks like a Cub Camp to me. It, uh, but they're great graphics and uh, a lot of uh, imaginative designs. I like these a lot. All right, Camp Rotary. Uh, this was just last year, I think. Um, maybe even earlier this year. They put out a set for the 100th anniversary of uh, Camp Rotary. And uh, so the, the centerpiece is really the, the point of this slide because these are all the uh, CSPs around it. Get a better look at them. None of them upside down. More Camp Rotary. Again, more Camp Rotary. This is Camp Walk Pomony. This is actually a back patch as well. And it has the shape I like though, so I picked it up. And uh, they put out a series of uh, different parts of camp. I got I got handicrafts. I got one or two others. So shooting range here, field sports, hope. And this is a uh, Native American here is their totem. I actually found this on the council website. They were a fundraiser to, I guess, get a new tractor for, for the camp. Down here is Silver Bay, which I know uh, some of you guys have been uh, involved in at the, uh, the Jamboree on the display there. All right, Westchester Putnam, Curtis R. Reed. You know, it's funny, I had a camp patch in my collection for years because it said CSR on it. My camp, one of my camps is Chesterfield Scout Reservation. And then uh, one day, one of my one of the old timers in in the lodge was looking at my collection. He says, "This isn't one of ours." So I did a little more research on it. It turns out he was right. All right, Connecticut Rivers, uh, well, Connecticut, and then we're moving on to Connecticut Rivers. They, uh, you're asking about Johnny. You're asking about uh, traderies. Uh, Jan Webster holds a tradery every every uh, March, and it's uh, one of the better traderies in New England, certainly. And they put out a, a a CSP every year. Although you know, I don't. I know I don't have them all, and, and not only do I not have them all, I don't even know what I don't have. Um, there's the 15. This is 17 and 18. But uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was I went down to the camp with uh, Rob, and we stopped in and uh, to the trading post, and they had this one here. They just had a, a box of them. They were selling for a buck a piece just to get rid of them. I bought five, he bought five. When I got home, I found this. Never even knew about it. So who knows how many more thank yous and whatever else they've put out. I, I have no idea. That means uh, I have to contact somebody down there and start asking around. But this is, this is a pretty cool one. I like this. Thank you, veterans. There's a couple more. This year is their 60th anniversary. One of the things that uh, the camp director does, uh, and I'm not sure what you have to do to deserve one of these, uh, is he puts out these director's awards. And um, I found out about him. So I, at the Traderie last year, I, I, I was talking to the camp director. I've, I've known him for a long time. He used to be our section advisor uh, back when I first got in the OA, believe it or not. And uh, for a, a generous donation to the friends of J.N. Webster, he allowed me to you get a pair of these, so uh, these are pretty nice. All right, one of their other camps, well, two of their other camps, Work Homan and Mattituck. Uh, interesting thing about Work Homan, 
Uh, Wacoma's been around for a long time, 1924. Uh, the gentleman who uh, donated the land for this camp, his name was Workman, and his mother's maiden name was Co. So he donated the land for the camp with the proviso that they would call it Wacoma, and that in incorporated both of his parents' uh, names. Still there, still at Ice Camp. It's right across the street from another camp, which is this one, Camp Sequassin. We'll get there in a minute. Uh, and I mean literally right across the street. Their, their driveways are, you can drive straight across the street from one end to the other. Um, this is Camp Tadma and um, the Mark Greer Scout Reservation. Tadma has been sold about probably about seven or eight years ago now. It was a cup camp. You know, with all the mergers in Connecticut, they had a lot of camps. So I figure at some point, one of them had have to go, maybe two. So Camp Sequassin is uh, Connecticut Yankees Council camp, and uh, one of their camps, the uh, the most most used camp. They use their summer camp here and stuff. I've been to a few uh, conclaves here. It's a really nice camp. So this was a wood badge uh, course that was held there, and the reason there's four of them. So the first one was uh, learners. It's probably hard to see, but the second one, there's a number right here. So this was a, a fundraiser, a numbered fundraiser. And then this one over here, if you can read it again, very small, well, it's ghosted, but it says staff. So this was the learner, this was the staff, this was the fundraiser. And this one was the course director. I had a bunch of these made as thank yous. So I guess if you did something to help the course move along, he gave you one of these. Or she, I don't know who the camp director. I don't know who the course director was. All right, these are some FOS patches they put out uh, with their camps. This is Deer Lake, which last I heard was also on the blocks. And here's a couple other ones: Hoyt and um, Camp Pomparag which used to be uh, the camp for the Pompera Council. And then uh, Wawa Tacy. I don't even know where that one is. And I'm not too far from there, but anyway. Also in Connecticut, uh, Edmund Strang. Uh, also in my section, been to conclaves there. Uh, small camp, but really nice. So Quinnipiac uh, Council was a, a, a precursor to Connecticut Yankee. So they had both Deer Lake and Camp Sequassin. And this is the Hermit Shack. And um, they put out other uh, camp patches and so forth with the Hermit Shack. All right, Rhode Island. If you know anything about Rhode Island, you know about Yagu. Um, Yagu's been around since 1916. Um, these three here were, well, the first two were, this was just one of their regular uniform wear, but it's got Yago on there. And then they made this as a fundraiser, numbered. And then this was for uh, an event uh, coming up in October called Mass Jam. Uh, it's a big jamboree they have out on Cape Cod every year. And then uh, some more from Yago. This is when uh, uh, they allowed girls into the program. And I thought this was a pretty nice uh, thing to put out, welcoming girls to Camp Yago. Uh, they put out a series a few years ago. Uh, a lot of them look like this. So they're all the ones with the white lettering. The lettering is glow in the dark. And these are the three camps. There's Medicine Bow, Sandy Beach, and Three Point. And again, all of these have glow in the dark lettering. This is something they just started last year. Uh, I don't know if they're going to continue it, but uh, these are some of the buildings at uh, at Three Point. Maybe they're going to do uh, other camps other years. And then these are uh, their Cub World. This is the Camp Feinstein, actually, uh, their Cub World. And uh, this first conclave I ever went to was at Camp Feinstein. I don't know if they have it here, but uh, my contingent stayed in the spaceship, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> um, so the red one was the normal one, and the other three are all numbered. 
and uh, I just put them all on there because I fill up the page, but I have all, I have a couple of numbered ones, obviously. Uh, Sanders Land, these are FOS patches. And uh, they made a series called the Camps of Narragansett Council. And uh, they also have Camp Buck Hill. And uh, they merged a few years ago with the Anawan Council in Massachusetts. And that's how they acquired Camp Norse. Uh, we'll see more of Camp Norse in a couple seconds. Then we have Champlain Scout Reservation, Camp Aquapog, that used to be a, an outpost. They used to put out outpost uh, patches for that one. And then uh, Camp Buxton. All right, so I said Camp Norris was Anawan. Uh, these are the same. There's just one of them. They put out a numbered version and an unnumbered version. All right, Boston Minuteman Council. TL Storer, Scout Reservation, and the camps within TL, TL Storer are Adam Spawn and Wild Goose. The, uh, the staff ones are particularly hard to find. They've made several of them, and I think this is the only one I've been able to track down. So Sayre uh, is, is where there used to be just a weekend camp. I know uh, my troop stayed there when we went to... Uh, visit the Freedom Trail and uh, interesting place. They had a, a little trading post and there were a couple of guys and there was one guy who was really old and the other guy was his father. And um, when we first got there, I set up my tent and I went, you know, of course I'm a patch guy. I went to the trading post. Those two guys were fascinating. I must've stayed there for an hour and a half. Finally, the, somebody from the troop had to come find me. Uh, but now there's a big, huge building there. Um, it's a whole new uh, you know, training center, big. Um, anyway, it's really nice. It's still, uh, they still have weekend camping there. And then, uh, prior to, uh, another merger, uh, Greater Boston, there's a camp master from Sayre. And Heart of New England, uh, if you were to take a look at New England, uh, this, this, Council is literally right dead center. And uh, they have three camps, um, Treasure Valley, Camp Winoxit, and Camp Split Rock. Uh, they had a merger a couple of years ago with uh, Mohegan and Nashua Valley Councils. Um, Treasure Valley was uh, Mohegan, and the other two were Nashua Valley. And then uh, Knobscott and Resolute, uh, two camps I've, I've stayed at, both of these camps, they're both nice. Not Scott's uh, pretty rustic, a lot of um, a lot of hiking trails. Uh, we used to stay there. My troop used to go uh, snow tubing once a year. And, you know, we'd go drive a few hours to get to Knob Scott, and then we'd stay there for the weekend. All right, Mohegan, um, again, Treasure Valley. Uh, so they made a, a numbered and unnumbered version of each of these. The numbered version is uh, extremely hard to find. Uh, thanks to Roy if he's on the call because he he found this one for me and then uh, and then saved it for me. Still haven't found the red one, but someday. Uh, more uh, Treasure Valley. I earned my way to camp and uh, obviously how you do that is by selling a thousand dollars worth of popcorn. By the way, the uh, this is the uh, totem for the uh, the camp. A lot of their camp, all their camp patches, not well, not all, but most, have that uh, somewhere on there. And this is a thank you uh, CSP. This was kind of oversized. And uh, this is for their 90th summer in uh, um, 2015. And then this is uh, Weeblo's resident camp. Which was probably also held at uh, uh, at, at Treasure Valley, All right, Nashua Valley, Quinoxit uh, and Split Rock, as I mentioned. And they also had Camp Collier. Um, a lot of their CSPs have either the, the Camp Quinoxit uh, logo on them. So if the, if 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 the the logo is on there, I probably collected, even though some of them aren't specifically Camp 
uh, uh, path, Camp CSPs. This one over here is uh, Camp Collier. Uh, the M is for Monadnock Council. That was its old council. And again, these are uniform wear, but Split Rock and Camp Winox that are on there, so they're on my list. Uh, the same with these. Once again, Winoxit and Split Rock. There's one for camp stack and staff and regular. And then this was just an FOS patch that uh, they use the same design a lot, as you'll see as we go on. And then this is this is the only one I have for just Split Rock. And then this is a this Four Seasons uh, series for Camp Winoxit. Kind of busy with the stitching. I think the only ones I like are the uh, the top two, bottom two are not so much. So this Camp Isaac, or Captain Isaac Davis, they put out a whole series of FOS and camp patch and all kinds of stuff. Uh, like I say, they do, when they put something out, they they go to town. And uh, this is similar to the Split Rock one I had also. This is uh, when Oxit. So this is uh, Camp Winoxit, but it's also uh, Loyal, and then they put out a whole series of those as well. Um, FOS patches, they they made a series of, uh, you could have your troop number and town on the bottom. They did a bunch of those with the same design. And also this Cap Captain Isaac Davis design as well. At least two are the same, just one is a ghost. This was still the 90th anniversary. They put out several that year. And then this was a uh, welcome to the Winoxid experience. And this is also an FOS patch. So this is uh, again, the uh, an FOS patch with the logo in the middle. And then the CW is also Camp Winoxid. So, even though this is a silver bill beaver CSP, it's got the uh, the camp logo on it. All right, Old Colony Council, Camp Squanto. And uh, these are the same, except uh, if you can see this one here is uh, numbered in the lake. And then same with these, this is numbered uh, the LeBaron R. Barker Boy Scout Reservation. This is a cool design. They make a lot of their camp patches with uh, with this totem, T-bird totem guy. All right, Pioneer Valley is my old council before a merger. And Horace Moses uh, Scout Reservation is my camp. So uh, if you ever want any, any questions about this camp, I'm the guy to talk to. Um, this was going to be, uh, it's interesting, this was going to be a, a seven-year series. Um, the assistant scout exec was working on this. And um, his plan was to make seven different years of different things. This is our waterfront. This is our, it used to be our trading post. And um, he was going to do seven years, and then he was going to save a few of each and make a nice plaque, have a bunch of people sign it, you know, the scout exec, you know, camp director, and then sell them uh, at the council auction. But the year after this one, he ended up uh, being offered a job as a scout exec down in New Jersey, and he left. That was the end. All right, Spirit of Adventure Council. Uh, this is a fundraiser they put out last year for TL Store. Um, they don't do summer camp there anymore, but I think they're still trying to keep it up. All right, back to Moses. This is Western Mass Council, my current council. And um, so on these, the ones on the left were available to anybody. And the ones on the right were also available to anybody at the, at the trading post. But um, if if a troop signed up for summer camp with a minimum of half of their registered scouts and they were all paid in full by a certain date, the scoutmaster received one of these in the mail. And they sell them for 25 in the in the in the trading post. So I mean they're not they're not cheap. These are usually five or ten. All right, these are camp uh staff patches in the last few years. Uh, they didn't make one last year for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, 
you know, I, I, I'm a merit badge counselor at the camp, so I've been lucky enough to get one of each year. This is the only one I have from Vermont. There's also a staff version of this that is uh, apparently coveted because I have made several offers uh, in another Facebook group, and all people tell me is, no, too hard to get. All right, New Hampshire, Daniel Webster Council. Uh, again, you're know, talking about the traderies. Daniel Webster uh, um, Camp Carpenter is probably the, the biggest and best tradery in New England every year. It's in Manchester, New Hampshire. Um, it's a cub camp. And there's also a, a great museum there. Uh, but uh, the Griswold Scout Reservation is the home to Camp Bell. And that's their, uh, their Boy Scout camp. And up in Maine, they have the Katahdin, Katahdin Area Council with uh, Camp Roosevelt is actually part of Katahdin Scout Reservation, KSR. And uh, these are pretty nice. Again, some of these patches are, uh, are hard to get. So these are, they have a high adventure base up there in Maine. And um, this one's hard to read, but this red thing actually says high adventure. And then they also have Camp Harrison, which to be honest, before I got this CSB, I'd never heard of. All right, the other, there's only two councils in the whole state of Maine. The other one is Pine Tree Council. And uh, so they, at one point had four camps. Pine Tree uh, is their oldest camp. It uh, started back in, um, in the mid twenties. And uh, it was donated uh, to the council by a, a gentleman whose son uh, was a scout and he died. So uh, he wanted the, the camp named after his son. And uh, these, these two are interesting. They look the same. Uh, they got four camps, Camp Gustin, Camp Nutter, Camp Hines. And uh, if you look at this one, it's Camp Bomazine, which is correct. But uh, the first one that came out, they had the, the Z and the M reverse, so it's Bozamine. Uh, so they spotted that they had had them corrected. And in 2017 for their jamboree, they uh, they made a a patch for each one of their camps. I believe now that both Nutter and Gustin have been sold, and uh, I think there's still a controversy raging up there as to whether or not Bomazine is going to be sold. All right, so. That's the end of the uh, the states. These are just a handful of uh, jamboree. I don't collect subcamps and all that stuff, but uh, these aren't really subcamps exactly. If they are, they don't call themselves that. So uh, I, I I like this Camp Thunder one, and I uh, and I remember showing this one day um, one of our one of our earlier meetings. I know this isn't a CSP, but um, I still like it, so it's in there. And then. Uh, Kandersteg, which is a, a in, an international scout camp in Switzerland. Uh, and any luck, some of you have been there. I tried to talk my troop into going there, but uh, they just didn't want to spend a couple of years doing fundraising, so we never went. All right, there. so the reason for this is uh, if Joe is, uh, Joe is on the call, uh, I wanted to get him ready because uh, this is the one and only one I have from Canada. Uh, I'm going into my flaps now. This is Camp Weta Skiwin in St. Catharines. And we'll go on here. So these are uh, from, from my collection, Camp Tra Camp Chesterfield. This is actually uh, Memsocket is uh, part of my lodge collection. If any of you ever sees a blue one of these, uh, there's two versions of it. I need them both. Uh, willing to pay for them. All right. Uh, so this is interesting uh, that I showed you earlier the trails of uh, TMR. Well, I got this as well. And then this one here, if you if you look at the bottom piece, there's all these camps listed. Well, there's a top piece for every one of those camps. Um, the one I showed with it is Camp Ranachakwa or Camp 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 Ranachakwa. And I'm not I'm not going to say that one. But anyway, these are the five that also go with it, including that one. And again, I don't have a lot of lodge flaps uh, with camps. I don't, I don't chase after them. I don't really collect them. But if I get one, I keep it. 
Uh, again, this is Jan Webster. This is interesting because uh, see these two, they look the same, but if you look at the, the large numbers on this one, and when they uh, first ordered, they, and they ordered a series of these, one for each camp, and they all came without the 10, so they reordered them with the 10. So there's, uh, there's one of those for three or four camps. These are all for Webster. And then, uh, so here's where Coleman with the 10. I don't have the one without. Here's one without the 10. I don't have the one with. And then here's a few more. Uh, Camp Half Moon, I mean, a Camp Tri Mountain, Half Moon Council Lodge, uh, Rip Van Winkle Council. It's a really nice camp. We had a conclave there a few years ago. Uh, Half Moon Lodge is in my section. And uh, it's a beautiful camp. It's uh sits atop one of these three mountains. And you know, their their great field overlooks the, the valley in between. And I'll tell you, first thing in the morning, that is a breathtaking sight. And uh, you know, Greg mentioned Camp Mac Morris. Uh I definitely had some uh Mac Morris. Was it Mac Morris? Anyway, this is Camp Mac. Maybe I'm I'm misremembering. Uh, well, this is interesting too. Oops, Camp Drake. Uh, so Camp Drake has this uh, tradition where they have this uh, uh, legend of the Pollywog Man. And if you saw this year's 2023 uh, Jamboree sets, they put one out that had uh, the Pollywog Man scaring scouts since 1932. So uh, that's in my that's Illinois though, so it wouldn't be in this collection or in this presentation. Here's a few more. And the, uh, so on, the, on these here, they, on the, the silver ones, they made an unnumbered and a numbered. These are Connecticut again. I want a collage. So they made uh, big collections of these things every year for Camp Birch. They have three different bordered uh, flaps, and I think they have three or maybe even four different bordered CSPs all for the same year, same design. And that's Pennsylvania. Camp Grimes. Is Camp Guayataka in Puerto Rico. And then what you've all been waiting for, the hat ones. <laughs> I don't have many of these. I actually used to collect hat, hat patches, and now I'm only keeping the, the camp ones. All right, that's it, folks.